rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. What is good Battlefielders? This is Kuzu Ranger coming at you from Japan. Now today I've got two clips. I'm showing obliteration mode footage and also the Parcel Storm official trailer just to show you what Battlefield 4 is like in case you haven't seen all these videos. But what I mainly want to talk about today is field upgrades. I mentioned that a little bit in my last video but I want to go in depth about I'm not going to break down what each class and, and what the general class of field upgrades are, but I do want to give my uh, personal take on them as they are in the alpha stage at this point. So if you don't know what field upgrades are, these are basically the reincarnation of squad specializations in Battlefield 3. So whereas in Battlefield 3 you could choose one specialization, example, uh, you know, sprinting or extra ammo, uh, extra nades, etc, etc. In Battlefield 4, you choose a path. So there's a path of four. There's a tier of four, basically, perks or specializations. And this does not change throughout the game. You get those four. You start out with the first one by default, and then you must unlock the rest, the, the, the next three of them, by working with your squad, getting squad points, you know, reviving and taking out the objective, you know, giving cover fire, helping someone, you know, giving health, ammo, whatever it is. You help out your squad, you get points. You can see in the meter there above the name, and I can't see it anymore, but there's a little meter there that fills up. And each tier is a block, so when that goes up, you get that next uh, field upgrade. The thing about it, though, is so it's encouraging teamwork. I can't, I can't be any happier than that. It's encouraging squads to play together, to help each other, to not just fuck around and play lone wolf because you're not going to get any of your upgrades. You're not going to get extra perks to help you, make you more powerful, or let you play how you want. The way it works though with this also is if your team, no, if your squad gets squad wiped, you go down one tier. It was mentioned before in another video, I believe it was Level Cap, who said you get reset. Well, I read from DICE uh, directly that you don't actually get reset, you go down one tier. So you drop one field upgrade from what you currently have and you have to go and get it again. I think this is a more fair way of doing it. I think resetting it completely is a little bit too harsh, especially if you're in the middle of the game or near the end of the game and then you just, you're just you stuck with nothing. So the thing with field upgrades, uh, like I said, I'm very happy about it that it en encourages team play. It's encouraging players to be even more cooperative. Um, this is something, you know, Battlefield is known for, and, and they're trying to take it to another level. They're trying to put another take on it, and I love this. I love the concept of it. I love that uh, it's not about being selfish. It's the opposite. It's about helping out. And that is what really makes me enjoy Battlefield over, let's say, Call of Duty. Now, I have nothing against Call of Duty. It's a great game in its own way. It just plays very differently. It's, it's, you know, it's the run-and-gun arcade style. And Battlefield 3 is a more team-oriented game, which is why I enjoy it. Nothing against Call of Duty, though. So anyways, the thing I don't like about these field upgrades is that they're not actually letting you choose how you want to customize things. Now, this is in the pretty much you know late alpha stage I mean beta is coming out in about a week and from what the information we have so far is that they're unlocked in these predetermined paths so each class has a choice of two each class can choose from one or the other and on top of that any class can choose uh, three general perks three general paths and I'm not going to go into details on what those are right now because they're, they're probably going to change and, and you know I don't want to go through you know, hundreds of, of loadouts just to tell you all the things. The problem I see though is that you can't choose what you want exactly. You can maybe get two or three out of the four that you like, or you can get one or two that you really like, but then there's one or two that you're not going to use at all. The problem with these is that it's basically determining what you have to choose for your gadgets if you want to make full advantage of these um, upgrades. So I will give one example. I'm going to go with the Recon. So the Spec Ops path for Recon gives you level 1 Stealth, level 2 C4 Explosives, level 3 Motion Sensors, and level 4 Quick Unspot. So in essence what this is doing is saying if you want to play that type of kind of aggressive Recon and make use of this path, you have to choose C4, 
and you have to choose the motion sensor balls. Those are the only two gadgets that you can choose with this field upgrade that is going to take maximum advantage of these choices. If you wanted to use tugs, okay, you could use that actually, or Mav, you could replace that. But if you wanted to use claymores, you're not going to get the benefits of this. If you wanted to use motion, uh, sorry, spawn beacons, you're not going to get the, the incentive to use this. If you wanted to use other perks, you, you're not going to get the full advantage of it because you don't get the bonuses of these field upgrades. What I don't like about these field upgrades is they're telling you you have to choose these two gadgets. You know, each class has the same deal. They, if you use those two gadgets, you get the advantages for those two gadgets, but not for the other ones. Sometimes, yeah, they do give a few varieties. For example, this one, they do extend to Tugs and Mav, but the C4 perk does not extend to Claymores. So it's limiting what you can in fact choose. What if I want to do sprint? Well, I can't choose sprint with this. What if I want extra ammo? What if I wanted flak? What if I wanted cover? I can't actually combine it with what they give you here. And that is what I don't like about these field upgrades. They are not customizable. If they do get to be customizable, that will be awesome. If they are like this and kind of tiered toward a special class, that would be great. But just let us choose specifically what we want within there. Give us a few more choices. Don't just make it set like this. Tell me if you agree or disagree. This has been Kuzu Ranger. Peace!